All right, so we want to find the domain of this composite function. Uh, first of all, setting up the composite com composite function, I'm going to plug in square root of x minus 2 into f of x. So I get quantity square root of x minus 2 squared plus 4. And be careful here. You may be tempted to um, cancel out the radical sign because when you square it, it does get rid of that. But I would leave it in this form because... When you perform composite functions, you do order, kind of like an order of operations. So you leave it in its original form, and then you uh, plug it out and see what happens. So in this case, um, we cannot have what's under the radical less than 0. So x minus 2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So then x is greater than or equal to 2. Um, and that's it. Because if you have anything less than that, if you take the radical of a negative number then you get an imaginary number and that doesn't work out so x has to be anything greater than or equal to 2 and that's it